Hello everyone, my name is Ray. I'm a nurse practitioner who specializes in cardiology hospital-based medicine. In this video, I want to quickly tell you about a little correlation between erectile dysfunction and coronary artery disease. But first, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. In this channel, we like to talk about heart disease, both prevention and treatment, uh, other topics of the heart, and as well as topics just overall health and well-being. So, if that sounds good to you, please consider subscribing to the channel so you can be part of this community that is interested in improving themselves. So I want to talk to you about erectile dysfunction. And ladies, before you tune me out, I need your help because, you know, as guys, we can be stubborn sometimes and we don't want to go get checked out. But I do want to urge you guys, if you've had any symptoms of erectile dysfunction, I want to let you know that erectile dysfunction is definitely correlated with coronary artery disease in that it's the same mechanism of endothelial dysfunction and atherosclerosis. In fact, according to the American College of Cardiology, men that had angiographically proven coronary artery disease, meaning either they had a heart catheterization or they had a coronary CAT scan showing that they had coronary artery disease, 67% of these men experienced erectile dysfunction symptoms two to five years prior to their coronary artery disease symptoms. So if you have these symptoms of erectile dysfunction, fellas, I urge you, please go get your heart checked. Ladies, if your men, if your guys are being stubborn, make sure that you are urging them to do it because it could mean that they might have something going on underneath the hood that needs to be established and treated prior to them having a heart attack, especially if you have risk factors such as family history, uh, obesity, diabetes, smoking, uh, hypertension, hy hyperlipidemia, things like that. So again, if you're having erectile dysfunction symptoms, please make sure you go get yourself a full cardiovascular assessment. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. I'd appreciate it if we can help uh, try to grow this community and I'll see you in the next video. God bless you.